Angie Squad. Welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got this cool one right here, and basically what this is is the rainfall shower head. If you see the one that we got right here from this brand, and this is what the package looks like when you guys first get it. So first, I'm actually open up to show you guys what the pot looks like inside first. All right. So once you guys open up, this actually looks like inside. Let's take everything out. So inside, they do probably got the washer, and they also probably got the tape that you stick it on to prevent any kind of leakage when you guys just set it up. And then right here, they probably got instruction manual to teach you guys how to set it up. And then right here, we do have the product. So when you guys take it out, this is what the product looks like. So here is where the water will come out. If you can see it on the slide, they do have the brand logo. And they also have the brand logo on top as well. On the top, they also probably got another instruction manual to teach you guys how to set it up. And right here is where you guys want to insert it to where the water will come out. And for this section right here, it is rotatable. So that way, if you guys want to move it around and adjust it to different angles, you guys can definitely do that on here. So when you guys open up, that is what the inside looks like. So they already have the water filter inside, but they probably got an extra one just in case. And when you guys take out the water filter, if you see inside, there's a resistor. So if you guys want to take that out, you can definitely get like the high pressure water on here. So with the one that we got right here, they probably got a 1.8 GPM resistor. They do have one that's 2.5 GPM. So if you guys want to minimize the water on here even more, you guys can get that instead. So that is basically what the product looks like. Let me just go set this up to show you guys how to install it first. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. So here is where we're going to install the product. So what you're going to do is to get the tape and kind of tape it on first. So that way you can prevent any kind of leakage. So I already have some already set up, but I'm going to add another layer on top just in case. So here is the tape that I want to use. So I just want to apply a small layer on top. All right, so that should be good. Once you guys finish that step, all you're going to do is kind of screw it on. So for the first test, I'm going to leave the resistor on to show you guys what it looks like. Then we'll take it off. So you guys want to screw it in just like this really easily. All right, so that should be good. Now let's test it out to see how it works. All right, so let's turn on the water. All right, so that is what the product looks like when you guys use it using the resistor option. Now let me take it off to show you guys what the difference looks like if you guys don't use the resistor. All right, so we took off the resistor. Let's try again. All right, so here is what the resistor looks like inside. So if you guys try again, let's see what happens. All right, so you guys notice the pressure on here is much higher when you guys use the valve resistor. So it definitely makes a pretty big difference with the resistor on here. So that is what the pot looks like once you guys do set it up. You can see it definitely does work. Welcome back, guys. So when I saw a quick test the pot, you definitely see it actually does work and it works quite well. If you see the whole setup process didn't take that long, once you guys apply the tape on, all you need to do is just screw it on just like how you guys saw in the video. But like I mentioned, if you guys want to have a high pressure water on here, all you need to do is take out the resistor and keep the water filter on. But if you guys want to minimize the amount of water that comes out, then you definitely want to use the resistor. But that is everything that's on the product. Now to unboxing and testing product. Now to end the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality rainfall shower head that has the same design that's on here and all the different accessories as well. That I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or having one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.